as far as I'm concerned, farmland or soil is invaluable. Our soil, our environment that we live in can never be replaced. If we're gonna feed people for a thousand years, it's gotta be here a thousand years. And the only way I'm going to be a successful farmer is to maintain that environment. We've really arrived at what we consider connected agriculture. Basically, if you go visit almost any farm, you're going to find a farmer is walking around with a smart tablet or a smartphone. If you're a farmer today, you're gonna be a commodity broker, a banker, a mechanic, an agronomist and a chemist all in the same day. Technology can only help us, and it has. So mid-90s is when we really started making the investment into precision agriculture. We really feel like we were the first to arrive at self-driving. In early 2000s, we released a product called AutoTrack, which basically allowed all our large agricultural vehicles to be, to be GPS auto-steered. You literally hands off the wheel going through a, uh, going through a field. It was a time in precision agriculture where things started shifting towards robotics. That unlocked a ton of value because it allowed the farmer to not focus on driving, but it allowed the farmer to focus on the job of farming. I've been farming now for 20 years. We farm about 5,000 acres. I wake up, I get my daughter out of bed, and uh, uh, make sure that we get her to the school bus on time. I come back here, I do any maintenance to machinery that needs done. Put corn in the planter to be able to plant. You get in the tractor and go. We have basically seven to 10 days planting window for optimum planting our corn. Corn plants like to know how close their neighbor is and you wanna space them evenly throughout the field so every corn plant puts on a uniform ear. Planting depth, seed spacing, all these things correlate to the end result, the yield that you're going to get. The technology that's built into the corn planters today is giving us by the centimeter accuracy. There's lots of technology on that planter. So one of the, one of the things that are on planter is what we call section control. Section control gives us the ability to automatically turn on or turn off a row from planting. Every cornfield or every bean field is not uniform from one end to the other. Maybe it's a field that isn't a square field and you come to a part that's already been planted. The system knows I've already planted there, I'm going to shut off these rows so I don't plant there so that you're only putting seed down where you want to put it down and not on top of where you've already planted. So that technology, it's all about cost savings. We have to be profitable enough to pay our bills and make it through a living for this year and 
Try again next year. We want to save on costs of fertilizer. We want to save on costs of seed. We're using GPS coordinates and we're taking 10 years of prior harvest data. And we're creating these zones on these particular fields that doesn't matter how much fertilizer you put out there, it's just not capable of producing what we want it to produce. So we will back those rates of fertilizer off. So that saves us money. Plus, we're not putting a whole bunch of fertilizer in an environment that's not needed. Therefore, we're not over applying, having runoff. We are using the technology not to fatten our wallets, but to make our farm more sustainable. I struggle with the term sustainability because it's such a huge spectrum. To me, if you were to paint a portrait of sustainability, it would look just like a gigantic family tree. Sustainability comes right down the neck of that tree to the trunk, and it's all focused right where that tree comes from, the soil. Everything that we touch, see, breathe, do, it all came from the soil. We're caring for something that is irreplaceable. We know we have a growing population, so, so more food needs to be produced on the same amount of land in, in the world. We're going to want to be putting seeds closer and closer and closer to each other. Each plant that's in the field is going to have to produce more than what it did before. So right now, you know, across agriculture, everyone is looking at every single step of the task of the job of farming and saying how can we be smarter about it and it's it's such an overwhelming multivariate equation that really truly the only way to break through with it is to leverage machine learning and artificial intelligence every year farms change my operation in 10 years will look 100 percent different than what it does today There's a lot of things that are out of our control, but the things that we can control, we have to do right. We can't afford to make mistakes.